Benvenuta. Tali, sono tuoi per 21 minuti. Thank you, Patricia. Um, and thank you for the invitation. So the question that we've been asked to address today is what we think made success possible, what enabled achievement. And it's probably not a surprise that as neuroscientists, I think the answer lies up here in the function of the human brain. So if we want to understand achievement in science, in academia, or in philanthropy, politics, arts, or even sports, I think a good place to start is to ask ourselves what made humans as a species successful. What enabled humans to thrive? Um, and the answer lies partially in the development of the human brain. As we evolved, our brains grew larger and larger and more and more complex. And especially this part of our brain, the frontal lobes, grew at an especially rapid rate. This part of the brain is important for high cognitive functions, for example, planning. But what is it exactly about the function of our brain that allowed us to go from the cave to modern cities, um, to develop arts and technology, um, to develop culture? And of course, the answer is extremely complex and many elements are important. And some will say language and some will say our ability to live in social groups. And all of this is true. But I want to highlight two elements today which I think were important for the um, evolution of humans, for the development of humans as a species, but also for the success of individuals today. And the first is our ability for imagination. This is our ability to create in our minds a reality that's different from what's in front of us at the moment. And you might think this is not a very unique or special ability. I mean, we do it all the time. You can sit here and imagine what dinner is going to be like later on today. You can sit in this room, but take yourself in your mind to your Christmas vacation in a month or imagine what your kids will be like in 10 years. But we shouldn't take this ability for granted because not all species are able to imagine and definitely not with the sophistication that humans can. And this is really the first key to success because I think in order to develop and innovate, we have to first create novel scenarios in our minds before we then embark on them in real life. 